Hello there, it is I, Ariman the Exile, and today I'm casting you another video, but this time it's multiplayer, and we got some Imperial Guard, played by Miss Kabooms, uh, some Steel Legion by Daimodul, uh, then we got uh, another team with me as Ariman the Exile, playing Inquisition Demon Hunt, and then we got some Space Communist Tau Empire by Omentai. Omentai. Yeah, that's him. He's playing. I, I don't know if I spell it right. Uh, if I'm wrong, you guys can totally correct me. Uh, this is the map for six players. And it's 2v2v2v2. Uh, two 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 two. No, it's 2v2v2. Two two two. So it's six. We got three teams. And then we got uh, some... Fat Sheet, who is playing uh, Imperial uh, Fists, Siege 1 Guard, uh, this is him, as the white color of the Astartes Space Marines, uh, and we can see this well-known map for the 6 players, and his ally, Korn, they are team 1, playing as uh, Dark Angels, and let's see, Let's see what is going on on this uh, beautiful battle. Let's let's take a look from the Space Marines perspective. Uh, let's watch from their perspective. Let's watch from the Dark Angel perspective. Actually, uh, this is gonna be very nice. Uh, what is happening? Okay, Fat Shit is going for the Hand of Dorn. Uh, Tau Empire are going for the Tau Barracks. Classic stuff. Inquisi Inquisition has picked the Let's Grey Knight card. I am saying now good luck, have fun. As we can see, this is a multiplayer 100%. Uh, version 591 currently. Okay, Steel Legion picked the Rally Station instead of Ammunition Bunker. And now it's going for the Generator Plant. Interesting, going for the couple more soldiers. Tactical control and infantry command with two plasma generators are going up. Conscripts, another troop of conscripts. Conscripts are cheaper unit. Uh, they are very good They'll in the beginning we of, the, of the match. So you can do that uh, obviously with any issue. So. We can see everybody are like Our capturing nearest and dearest points and uh, Tau Empire now. are going instantly for the Fire Warriors uh, in this situation and Inquisition are going Position for the Grey Knights secure. with the Brotherhood Champion. What is this? Uh, Dark Angels, it seems like they are producing uh, five squads of Scout Marines interesting stuff I get oh no it's even They'll more six master, or even seven I don't know that's a lot of scout marines <laughs> but okay uh, now we got the siege captain on the field <clears throat> it seems like that's a first commander oh and there is a command squad on the field also steel agent don't have a commander or they do I'm not sure no they don't okay how about uh, Grey Knights? They don't have, they are going for the second generator. Building a couple points, going for the relic. How about Tau Empire? Let's see. Tau Position Commander Shasta Kais is on the field. Primary Commander. And I don't know what is going on with the Dark Angels, but it seems like they don't have a Chapel Barracks for some reason. But they got a lot of scout <laughs> infantry, uh, so scout company, element scout company they can be equipped with the combat shotgun and stun sniper rifles. Interesting stuff, I guess. Uh, command squad going to the listening posts. Um, he does not have any other commander in his unit. He is solo. <coughs> And the conscripts are capturing uh, in the middle of the map. Singh goes for the Tau. 
Same goes for the Grey Knights. Alright. Is that a first contact? It seems that's a first contact. With the Tau and the uh, Imperial Fists. Yes, that's the first contact. <coughs> Steel Legion going up with some Tarantula turrets. They figured out the Tau Empire are on the map. That is what they say when they solve Xenus, like the Space Communist Tau. Godsman capturing the critical location with conscripts. <laughs> and the Steel Legion squad upgraded with a couple grenade launchers. Each squad got one for now. In the rally station, nothing is going on. And guardsmen are now going for the guardsmen squad. <laughs> Interesting stuff. And that's the first generator from the Dark Angels. <laughs> what a funny joke. Okay. A fists Siege 1 guard. He have some school prop infiltrated going in to see and detect what is going on on this side almost tier 2 Tau Empire player said oh yeah he's building this for his tier 2 that's only one generator and and how about yeah Grey Knights got warp reactor already it seems like Grey Knights have stood against the Steel Legion, they like cut a little bit of that Tarantula turret, but lost a uh, lost couple of infantry there. Let's see uh, the side of the Imperium. Second chamber, alright. I'm going for a couple of servitors. Interesting stuff, it seems. Tau Empire have captured like most of the uh, of the strategic point, which is very interesting. Uh, it seems like Dark Angels are camping, not doing anything at re at at the at the time. But let's watch from the Gazmin perspective. It, to be honest. Because it seems like they are doing more stuff than the others. I know what I did in this game, as uh, I can remember, but let's keep that uh, mystery. <laughs> okay, I can see the school probe observing the situation. They saw Tau Empire like capturing the points of the of the Imperial Fists, and they also got the point of the. Dark Angels. Is he going to delete this building or leave it be? He should definitely delete it. It saves some money, some blue money. Oh, Tau Leader just died. Grey Knights coming in. They saw the Tau need assistance. That's a lot of uh, scouts. And Imperial Fists, Siege One Guard. We probably go to assist them. Grey Knights are not scared of a lot of scout units. But, Grey Knights are a little bit scared of the Siege Marines. And we can see some Space Marine tech this squad. Is using abilities now. Almost to the whole squad of the Grey Knights in Poland. Shield team is taking damage indeed. Wow, that's a lot of a lot of psychic abilities in this battlefield. Astartes are dying left and right. Skull prop at the point. Grey Knights have beaten back the whole whole two members of the Dark Angels and Imperial Beasts. And Guardsmen are just gathering. That's a nice situation there. Grey Knights Interceptor squad 
Very good, very effective. It can be upgraded with the melter bombs, melter grenades, however you want to like say it. And I think the correct one is melter grenades. Uh, okay, Tau are recapping this point and going to build this listening posts uh, immediately. Now the chamber, I mean the barracks of the Dark Angels is being produced. Steel Legion are building turrets in the Guardsman base for some reason. Maybe they have some plans for that. Let's see the economics. Uh, 116 incoming for the requisition and 19 for the power. Let's see the Steel Legion. 105 requisition and power 68 how about the inquisition uh, 116 and 60 uh, 16 60 of the power let's see the tau 60 of the power and 140 of the requisition interesting how about the imperial fists 105 and 50 of the power, oh Dark Angels, a oh, very bad uh, economy for the Dark Angels, 50 of the reputation and incoming 10 power, that's a lot of grenade, the interceptor squads are serving that, uh, Tau and Fire, Fire Warriors shooting from the distance, uh, while the interceptor squads are touching to the pieces of everybody, and uh, that is how we killed a one player by ganging, uh, ganging with two, two players on the one and Dark Angels did nothing really to help his ally. That's too bad. <laughs> it seems uh, this corn is uh, new to the game. Or I don't know if he or she is, I think he is, or she is uh, new to the game and he do not understand or she does not understand how important it is to save his allies at uh, moments like this. At least like like uh, push them back, like don't give them a step to your base. It's very important and especially in the early or mid game because you can lose definitely. And now we have passed like 10 minutes so it's kind of mid game for now a guardsman <coughs> imperial guard are gathering together with the steel legion steel legion are building some simeras and hellhounds and guardsmen are also building a couple of vehicles mechanized command has been produced by the guardsmen now they are building another one Okay, tier 3 is ready, now we are going into the late game of the situation, at least Guardsmen are going for the tier 3, <coughs> and incoming tier 3 for the Steel Legion, <coughs> incoming tier 3 for the Grey Knights also, and Tau Empire also going for the tier 3, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Oh no, I allow Crutus and Gure. Yeah, yeah, okay, I believe that's that's the needed building for the tier. Yeah, they can be very soon, Tower Empire can be in tier 4. And how about Dark Angels? Dark Angels are going for the Chaplain. They're all only tier 2 for now, they do not have the machine. Machine cold building, that means they are only tier 2. Now they are going for the tier 3. Uh, let's see, power of the battle company. They pick that. Allows them, I don't know what allows them actually. Allows them the supreme commanders. And allows them like uh, Primaris marines and so, stuff like that. So it is going to be a good pick. But will, are they going to like do a lot of stuff with it? We will see. That's very effective against most of this type of the infantry, this map. 
special oh now we got the fire control bunker which means uh, they will double the economy for the steel legion <coughs> they got uh, one two three four five five generators and they got thermoplasma like that's that's what you need to do like when you okay Imperial Guard got four generators, thermal generator, and going for the Mars Pattern Command, which allows the Bane Blades and I mean Bane Blade and Shadow Sword in the update version. Who knows what will they have? Uh, how about the Inquisition? Let's see, Inquisition going for the Grey Knight Terminator Librarian. That's the interesting stuff. Inquisitorial Predator coming up. And Inquisition got one, two, three, four, five generators for now. And Warp Reactor, okay, that's good enough. Tau got... Tau also need a lot of... Um, okay, Grey Knights have captured this side. And they are going for the second Warp Reactor. Interesting. Oh, Advanced Technology <laughs> Beacon. That means Tau are now... Uh, even tier 4, they can produce a couple supreme units for now. Dreadnoughts incoming in. Squad cap increased. And some of the ability psychic research for banish. And mm, <laughs> protocols, mechani mechanicum protocols. Ready to win the war, sir. It seems like. Uh, Guardsmen are tier 4 now. Guardsmen are truly are tier 4. And uh, Dark Angels are still tier 3. And they don't have the building for the vehicles for some reason. I don't know why. Tell the men the cavalry's arrived. I believe uh, Grey Knights are also tier 4, I believe, yeah. They got a couple of dreadnoughts probably in this building, let's see. Yeah. They got dreadnoughts. Tau Empire, uh, Riptide Battle Suits. Online. Yeah boy. That's the heavy infantry and Riptide is a very practical and good unit. Which is uh, good against infantry, heavy infantry and vehicles. You can see by the by the size of it and, and like that artillery power on, on attached to him he is pretty advanced and he seems pretty advanced Grey Knights Perfer Squad then we have Purgator Squad and Lord Inquisitor now Librarian in Terminator Armor is going to be attached to this squad as he is Purgator squad upgraded with Psy Cannon is the best thing you the need. Some Ogrins, Cassikins and Lemon Rasses. Lemon Rasses is not upgraded because those uh, Lemon Rasses <coughs> require a lot of <coughs> a lot of stuff. Now they are building some stuff for the for the Ogrins and for the Assassin infiltration. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I see that. Steel Agent, what are the Steel Agent doing? Going for the Lehman Russ Exterminator. Good choice, I guess. Uh, then going for another tank bunker. And ammunition bunker. Going for tier 5. No, that's vehicle cap 5. Level. Oh! Just like that, those two limit rushes are upgraded for both firing cannons. Tau, attack, I said to my ally, it seems, because we do not allow our enemies to grow. It seems like the Imperial Gods when got pop cap full. Uh, four, 14 out of 20 for the vehicle cap and 20 out of 10, 20 are for the infantry <coughs> okay let's see from the guardsman perspective 
they see a lot of Grey Knights coming. And as I finish their vehicle, they have received uh, on the field with the uh, Imperial Knight Hero unit, which is uh, like Titan for them right now. I saw that knight, and I was like, we have to fight them before it's too late. Visitor Lord Commander in the back with some Malta and Plasma upgrades. Pathfinder is on the way and Fire Warrior shooting from the distance. Grey Knights are dying. They cannot stand a lot of a lot of everything from the Guardsmen players. It seems like they have a lot, really. Plus Imperial Guard got a lot of economy going up. Even more the the Steel Legion God. Everybody got a lot of economy except for the Dark Angels. I mean, Imperial Guards got lesser than Steel Legion, but Steel Legion got lesser than than Grey Knights, and Grey Knights got most of it in this situation. But still, Grey Knights are pretty expensive. So you have to invest a lot in your army to do some damage and two Imperium factions is gonna be a really big trouble to everybody. You can see how much are we spending here, like Grey Knights are spending a lot of economy. Let's watch from the Imperial Guard perspective. That's the Stormage Blast Plastic Suit, which is shooting at the... Imperial Knight. It has been upgraded with the Flamer Terminal Cannon, which is good against all vehicle and buildings. Now that's not. Ah, oh, okay, I see, I see where the weapon now. Really. <coughs> Tau Empire are shooting this. What? Where is that Titan from Tau? It's, it's gone, it seems. Alright, IG and Steel Legion are demolishing everything in their path, because look at this army of fucking vehicles, like you cannot stand that, like, uh, I mean, infantry is one thing, like, but the, 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 the fucking vehicles they got in the late game, it's really troubling. You cannot do, like, okay, that Imperial Knight is very angry. Now they are pushing, uh, they are pushing like with everything they got. It seems like... The old commander standing there as a true hero, trying to do some damage against uh, this brutal army of the Imperium. But it seems like... Paladins with the Grand Master Brotherhood Champion and a Dreadnought going in. Steel Legion saw that and they are retreating to their HQ. That was a nasty move from the Grey Knights. We gotta admit that. Let's see what is going on. Uh, tower gathering. Fucking Grey Knights are just attacking the buildings. They do not know what is coming up from the, the behind. Actually, Grey Knights do know what is going on. And there we got some Grey Knight Librarian protecting his base. He is going to attack my base, then I will attack his base, it seems. That kind of strategies. But let's see who is going to survive this. Limonras Executioner trying to stop them. Two Lemon Rasses with Knight, they got very low HP it seems, only one Lemon Rass there to protect them. And Grey Knights are coming prepared for this. <laughs> they will not survive this, it seems. Paladins. Paladins with the Grey Knight. Brother Captain is slaughtering with his abilities the infantry of the Steel Legion. Now they are going for that HQ it seems. 
even the Terminators are thrown in the battle. Steel Legion are doing everything they can to stop the Grey Knights now. Kessikens are capturing, Barracudas approaching. Tau are shooting from the distance this vehicle. And the Grey Knights saw that vehicle and deleting it. Now a lot of stealth suit team incoming in. That's a Storm Raven on the field, which is a relic unit for the Grey Knights. They are trying to demolish this control bunker, which is the HQ for the Steel Legion. Brother Captain just died, but in the glory, two Lemon races have fallen from the Steel Legion. Imperial Guard a little bit confused. They got a lot of money, but they don't know what to do, it seems like. They got Shadow Sword and the uh, Linen Rust. Knight Online, it seems like. Ah, they are already full with infantry. They don't know what to spend uh, the money on. Knight is down. Knight is definitely down, and Grey Knights are still attacking them. How about Steel Legion? Let's see. The economy of Steel Legion is very good. They are just a little bit confused because you do not let the Gazan like they can go very strong with the economy and they are cheaper than Grey Knights. But they cannot believe how much uh, Tau are, and Grey Knights are throwing at them. Airstrip is preparing to launch some vehicle on the field. Lehman Rust Exterminator, another great unit, Kessikens are shooting off the Inquisitor Lord now, and they are succeeding in that objective. Inquisitor Lord is surviving a lot of damage now, but he is dead completely. That's a lot of uh, demolished buildings. A lot of buildings demolished. And the storm, storm blade on the field. Dreadnoughts coming to take down that storm blade. Another knight incoming. Deep strike stormtroopers, finally. Oh my god. How much did I want to so see them on the field? We are the personification. Stormblade is going uh, going in <laughs> from somewhere. I mean, you always have to like build your stuff. And that is exactly what are the Steel Legion doing. They are just deep striking everything. In the HQ of the Tau Empire, uh, Riptide, Battle Suits and uh, Basilisk suit is waiting for them. You should put that thing uh, in the ground so it will deal a lot more damage, especially against vehicles like this, because when it's standing, it's not fully potential with his damage, you know? You need to like move it a little bit and then barrel it into ground. Brother with champion. He's now trying to defend this and Tau Empire are retreating. We got Stone Sword and Imperial Knight Hero on the field. What is going on here? Steel Legion are fighting for their lives, it seems. Against this Grey Knight Interceptor spots. Only two of them. They lost one HQ, but they rebuilt it. Maybe the Tau don't see where the storm uh, storm blade uh, can. On this side, uh, Dark Angels are not doing anything uh, special. They are just gathering and uh, producing some devastator HQ, units. We are under fire. They got Dark Angel us? Command Squad, which is. Uh, very effective unit. The Emperor has abandoned it can have like command squad stand and barrier, a pop a 
Apothecary and uh, Command Squad Veteran Sergeant and Archangel Command Squad in this squad and is that yeah that's a chaplain but you can go Back for the, the Asmodei which is another great unit and there we got uh, some Primaris Marines from the Dark Age of from the Dark Angels a couple of dreadnoughts waiting Rose. there <laughs> Lim and Ras everybody and Ten Ks that's Inquisitorial Predator it can be upgraded with a plasma cannon Inquisitor Lord is now shooting with the Melta and Plasma Guns from his bodyguards. That Predator is not that great actually, but it deals a lot of damage with his Plasma. And still he got everything to, to demolish the vehicle. They are well made. Yeah, like, look at this army of the Imperial Guard, that's pretty scary, when you let the IG go to the, to the lane, they can be the really very, very effective destroyers for the late game. Uh, that's some Orca in the air, actually. This feeble resistance will not destroy the line without I believe uh, Grey Knights are fighting for their lives in this kind of situations and Tau Empire are doing everything they can I know the Grey Knights are expensive and stuff like that but my god like what's happening with the Dark Angels here they're just standing there gathering camping it seems yeah they lost ally I can respect that uh, Godsman got a lot of stuff in the middle of the map yeah very lot and they're still not helping his allies, still Legion. Still Legion is like fighting for their lives, but the, on the other side they are rebuilding his HQ into the into the base of the gods. You can see some Grey Knights purple spot, which is a better unit uh, than Interceptor unit. Because they can be upgraded with uh, purifying his swords. And we got some Grey Knight Paladins, which can be up oh. oh Brotherhood Captain is like Where do you need to casting some abilities on the enemy. Tau Empire and not giving up. First into battle. It seems like Last. this battle has been better and bigger. Yes, sir. Nemesis Dread Knight is on the field now, trying to take down that uh, HQ. And it is, it, it is going to succeed, it seems like, I don't know. I cannot remember everything from this match, but I see like a lot of stuff is being made. Terminators with Librarian and Grey Knight Paladins with the Brotherhood Captain. Interceptors, interceptors now squatted in the, on the field, cutting down that HQ and they will succeed. Now throwing some Melted grenades. Steel Legion have that lost cool. another oh, HQ, order. that's the second HQ, uh, but but with the care and precision, Steel Legion thought like it's First better to have a third HQ back. actually, and that's Tank good for them. Imperial Guard building another field charged. command in the middle of the map. Is it the safest place? Who knows? But it is safe for them, it seems. Time power are somehow. What, what was this mistake by the by the Imperial Guard? The, a lot of units died there, like nothing. <laughs> because of the stealth and uh, the range of the Tau Empire, they took down most of the infantry from the Imperial Guard. A lot of guards have died there. I cannot see the Kaskins. Oh, we can see a lot of dead bodies in the middle of the map. A red tide battle sword is shooting at the shadow sword. The shadow sword has been surrounded by the dreadnoughts now. <laughs> it cannot go back. But the red tide is losing a lot of HP. And shadow sword is no more. The red tide is going down it seems from the night. It will take a lot of damage. Yeah, that's about it from the red tide. 
Knight took it down. This time Knight with a plasma gun upgrade. Let's see what is still living doing against the Knights. Not good, it seems like. Tank case. Interceptor squad and a couple of dreadnoughts on the field. Yeah, still even and truly fighting for their life right now. And the Dark Engines are now attacking the, the base of the Uranite. Dark Engines are going to succeed in this operation. From the Dark Age of Technology. Still Legion have lost a lot, a lot of stuff. But the Guardsmen are standing and holding the ground. Now they even lost a, a, a knight. Guardsmen lost a knight. Guardsmen got a lot of economy. They are just not spending it very fast, it seems. They are going for the Bane Blade now. And the Stormblade is ready, sir. Stormblade and Bane Blade is gonna be a good option against uh, this magnificent army of the Tau Empire. Plus, they got a lot of infantry upgraded with missiles, missile launchers and uh, plasma guns, it seems. And a grenade, some of them even got the grenade launcher. Going out for the night again, but Mars Foundry will be uh, eliminated very soon. Yeah, that building will not produce the night. That's a big loss. On the 50% for the Godsman player. Barracudas from nowhere. <laughs> Coming and shooting from the far. Shooting and the internal Godsman. Too bad those Godsman don't have a lot of their missiles. Because with missiles they can do a lot of damage to these Barracudas. Quartz on aircraft also, as we can see. But then Lady is standing there. Giving up, giving up of everything they can. Ballistic suit is just standing there. Ignore Dark Angel push garden. That is what we said. Okay, we are ignoring Dark Angel for uh, who are surrounding the buildings of the, of the Tau and the Grey Knights from the other side. Dark Angels are now conquering everything they can while the Guardians are fighting for their lives. Gods, man, are like pretty, pretty fucked now. <laughs> it seems like they lost everything they built in the middle of the map. And that band blade is... Uh, has more than half HP. They will put down this titan. This titan is better than you put it on, on, on the hold the ground. That is, how, that is not how you use your unit, but... It is okay. It's like a battle suit, uh, Xperia 88 battle suit. Not, not. It's like the battle suit, yeah. But when it, like, come to bear the ground and then shoot from the standing position, you know. That's the Riptide battle suits again. They're building a knight from the HQ, but they don't have enough time to build it. They do have money, but they don't have time. Now. They are trying to take down this field command. Godsmen are screwed. Tech Priest is building this mechanized command. Only one builder unit <laughs> from the gods as well. Oh my god. And they just lost the HQ. Quickly! Quickly! Oh no! Oh no! Godsmen lost the last builder. 
that means no rebuilding for you, my friend. How about Steel Legion? You can count on us. Steel Legion are us. sneaking everywhere they can. We need to talk when they lost the builder and everything, they should just share that economy with the steel legion now, because it's useless to resist. But it is what it is, they didn't figure that out. I don't know said, attack the HQ. That's me. <laughs> Alright. And as we can see, like, Grey Knights are demolishing another building, another HQ from the Guardsmen. Fire Warriors, Bodyguards, Imperial, Imperial Cast, where is he? Let's switch to the Tau, Imperial, Imperial is in the HQ, he's Commander in it, secondary actually, but he is very important, he is not the leader of the, he is the leader of the operation. But he's not like the primary commander, you know. And still, uh, the Grey Knights are, do have two HQs. Primaris Marines are now capturing and conquering the site when, when the fallen brothers of the Imperial Siege Vanguard were there. Meanwhile, the Blades are on the field. I can see some deep striking bombs. Two dreadnoughts coming in. Then we strike down the Dark Angels, he said. Tau agreed with that. After we take down Bane Blades. Yeah! After we take down the Bane Blades. You know, like, no, go back, actually. What? Oh, it seems like Gazan. <laughs> Somehow stood to, to... They're all dead. Low. Okay, it seems like they're all dead. Godsman somehow managed to build a, another field command. Okay. They're not done yet, actually. And even still, they're not done yet. Because they got their HQs just online right there. Still, those points are still pretty much visible. I the now the gods and players voice. sense their approaching of the Take Dark Angels. Here. Give me a target. Stealth him. Give me a target. Taking fire. Yes, sir. Soldier squad. The emperor has abandoned us. The emperor has abandoned us. Sentinel here. Let's see what is going on here. Dark Angels are trying to capture the location, but it seems like three dreadnoughts have spotted them. And plus the Titan unit is online now, deleting the existence of the Astartes. Is that the Brother of the Night Champion? Yes, that is. He's pretty angry about uh, Dark Angels capturing the previous location, it seems like. He does not trust the Dark Angels because they are holding such secrets <laughs> in their side. First into battle, last. That's the second HQ for the Steel Legion. They got one here and the second one out there. And the IG player is trying to rebuild and go to tier 2 again. Push back Garden, okay. The Garden now got the fan blade. Tank HQ, bunker. Under fire. This player likes to use the red side, but it's not what he likes. Give me a target marvel of the adventures for this Kaboom is uh, left the game, which was the the Godsman player. For some reason, they quit. We didn't finish them off, but they quit. 
the fury of the machine uh, and I believe I didn't have that much of the hit of the requisition but I got some dreadnoughts on the field to assist my Tau player so I had a lot of power income but I didn't have that much of the requisition while my ally had enough it seems okay and Dark Angels now got pretty good economy, but it is very late for them now. Purity of the body, a complete purity of the mind. That's the Asmodei and the Primaris Hellblast squad. How about the Steel Legion? Steel Legion got very low economy right now. Our weaponry is but they still got this Stone Blade. Maybe they will do something. They don't have enough uh, vehicles on the field to stop this madness of the infantry. Give me a target. Before Location quitting, secure. like one one tip, like the f people should like donate to their allies because it, the uh, guardsmen, I believe, had a lot of uh, economy, Sir. and like that decreases the chance of. Uh, Winning for their teams when you quit and don't give the money to your allies. Like you had a lot, why did you have to quit? <laughs> well, it is what it is. Going out for the Nemesis uh, Dreadnought and the Inquisitor Lord. Because, take a look at this, like, uh, it seems like the Legion don't have enough economy to deal with every, everything of this. Storm Blade is now pushing back this Riptide and the army of this, but this is, this is going to be enough because this Storm Blade is everything they got. And I saw one thing like uh, Steel Legion, Steel Legion are not using the Trojan, which is a repair unit. It repairs the HP the for the for the vehicles and buildings. You should have those vehicles. They are pretty important. That's just another tip for you. And that's the Land Raider RS for the Dark Angels. And what else? They are going for the Mo Mortis Dreadnought. Yes, sir. Yeah, Steel Legion, it seems like they are uh, just deleting their stuff, building, that means they lost. Steel Legion has been defeated. Lord Inquisitor is just there to shoot and Steel Legion surrender. Okay, that's about it. When they saw this Nemesis Dreadnought, they were like, oh fuck this shit, we are out. <laughs> Ah, uh, but it's not not that big of a deal because if if only like guardsmen could send that money to the Steel Legion player, maybe the game would like be different. Because you see, My watch is untiring and ceaseless. we do not have that much of the money at the time, especially acquisition because the we Grey Knights are really expensive. We didn't capture most of the points. Now we are capturing. That's the big mistake we made in this match. We didn't capture the points. The point is to survive as much as you can and try to capture every single point for your team. And then you will be able to produce more money and more infantry and strike down your enemies with ease. That's the point of the game. Like economy, good economy is most part of the game we and the other uh, point is tactics also and cooperating with your ally like you have to help your ally when he really needs your assistance it matters like you can send sometimes units sometimes money both of that stuff can help your team barracudas striking from the above now Dark Angels are in big trouble, very big trouble, because 
they do not know what is coming for them. And it seems like this Nemesis Dread Knight is repairing his HP. Or losing HP, I cannot tell. But either way, like the Grey Knights are already in the base of the, in the Dark Angels, and the Dark Angels stood last. Some tactical veteran squad with plasma guns. Always good to see. Primera Scale Blaster squad are being cut by Terminator. They are Primera Scales, but they are not better than Terminator Steel veterans on the field. <laughs> yes, that's about it from the primary units. And they are just demolishing this building, cutting through this plasma. Finally. <laughs> like the father. Master Interrogator Chaplain Asmodai versus Nemesis Dreadnought. Who is going to win this battle? Oh, Asmodai, I have believed in you. And it seems like Asmodai has no more. Now, this Land Raider is probably going to defeat the Nemesis. But our, our Tau and Grey Knights are going to defeat this Land Raider first before they demolish all of the buildings. We will see. The Nemesis is being able to like. Oh! Yeah, Nemesis Dreadnought, Dreadnought is going to kill this Land Raider Aris. But before that, they took down the the buildings of the Dark Angels, and that's about Let's it. Let's see the statistics. Okay, there we are. Uh, statistics. Overall, the Grey Knights, Demon Hunters have most of the resources, uh, I mean total score, and Tau Empire, very good, uh, they are following. Let's see, Ariman the Exile killed 291, while the Tau player killed 462, that's a lot of kills, Grey Knights lost a lot of infantry, 251 and almost 200 for the Tau player. Miska Bomb uh, lost 233, killed 178. Daimodul, which was the Guardsman player, killed 228. No, he was still Legion, my bad, and uh, had like 356 unit uh, lost. Now building demolished, 36 building demolished from the Tau and 32 from the Grey Knights and other people didn't do that much except for the Korn who held like uh, waited pretty long to do that <laughs> operation and Ariman lost that 15 buildings it seems like Ar and army size Diamond Wolf had the big, uh, best uh, army size. If like Tyranids were there, like it would be a different story probably. Now let's see the resources. Okay, we have gathered most of the requisition and most of the power. We have gathered 50,000 50, of the power and almost 50,000 of the requisition. Tau gathered uh, for 46,000, 38. Uh, thousand spent and 48,000 spent for the Grey Knights. Uh, other than that, uh, most of these players like gather f like 30,000 of the requisition and power mostly. Let's see the technology. Okay, Space Marines had most of the technology and unit upgrades goes for the Grey Knights. The reinforcement go for the Tau and capture strategic points. We have captured eight rest of them lesser than 8 everybody like not everybody three players only captured uh, three critical locations which is Grey Knight, Tau and uh, Imperial Guard <laughs> what is this only one player have captured three relics which is Grey Knights it is me and Korn have captured two relics 
Good match. Good match. Very good match for the 15 minutes match. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned, guys, and bye.